So today, let's go back to the basics. Kagaya nga ng palagi kong sinasabi sa inyo noon, when you know you can. And itong gagawin natin ngayon is a classic French flaky pie crust na pwede mo ding gamitin for tarts at pwede mo ding gamitin for empanada. Napakadaling gawin and you can prepare so many flavors, variations, mapa savory, sweet na tart na gusto mong gawin, magagawa mo, basta magawa mo itong pastry crust na to. So you're going to start with basic ingredients. I'm going to show you how to do it manually or pwede ka din gumamit ng food processor. Kapag kasi gumagawa tayo ng mga pastry crust, mabilis ang halo lang yan because you want the dough or the crust to stay cool and Relax, o di ba parang ikaw lang? You have to stay cool and relaxed para maganda palagi ang outcome. I have here 2 and 1 fourth cups of all-purpose flour into the bowl. And I have here 1 cup of cold butter that we've cut into cubes. Cubes mo lang na ganyan. And then I have here ice cold water. Hindi naman kailangan gantong kadami. Konti lang. O pagka nauhaw ka, kumirong ka na din dyan. And then just around a tablespoon of white sugar. So using two forks, kung wala kang food processor, using two forks, no, you're just going to, to mix it or uh, ano bang proper term dito? Just kapag ka mga ganitong social, nakakalimutan ko ang terminologies. Or you're going to cut it using your two forks. Or kung gusto mong mas mapabilis, may nabibiling pastry blender ang tawag. Until mealy. Ngayon, kung ayaw mo naman magaganito and meron kang food processor, edi eh ilagay mo lang yan sa food processor. So as promised, I'm going to show you both. So into the food processor, ay, oh, di ba ginigising tayo? So I'm going to put put this into the food processor. Lahat na yan. Because you want to cut it or you want to blend it until mealy yung iyong uh, mixture. That's it. Okay? And then, just uh, mga uh, ilang ano lang, 3 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, o oh, ganun lang. And then, lagyan mo ng cold water, ice cold water. You're going to put mga approximately 1 fourth cup. Mix it again. And then, konti pa. Mix it again. Now, tingnan mo, kumpara na siyang uh, clay dough, okay, ayan, katulad nito, oh, yung, yung parang pliable na siya, no? okay na yan, tanggalin mo na. So now, you can now transfer it, if you notice, nandito ba din yung aking ice cold water, no? So I'm going to transfer it into my countertop. Eh kung wala kang ang food processor, ituloy mo lang yung pagganon mo ng pagsuzumba mo with the tinidor, o di ba? Wala namang problema yon. Mas mabilis lang syempre if you are using the food processor. And then the next step is you're going to gather it, no? So you're going to gather it. Hindi mo mamasahen ha. This is the difference. Binabind mo lang. You are not kneading it. You're just going to bind it. So, pagsasamahin mo lang until it forms into a dough. Pag hirap siyang magsama, kuha ka lang ng konting water. Ibig sabihin nun, kulang pa yung nailagay mong liquid. And then, you bind it again. Uulitin ko po, ha? Hindi, hindi mo siya ibibigyan ng body pressure. Hindi mo siya mamasahin. Pinagsasama-sama mo lang po siya. Magkaiba po yun. Because here, when you are making pie crust or pie dough, you don't want gluten formation. You want it to be relaxed as much as possible. That is the reason why we are using cold water. And kung napapansin mo, your hands, kailangan manatili ding malamig. And you can do that by ay lubog-lubog mo dyan ng konti. Because the fat, yung nilagay mong butter dito, has to remain na meron pang solid form. Para pagka binake mo mamaya, magiging flaky yung iyong 
pastry crust. So as you can see, it's now combined. No, one recipe can prepare mga two pieces na nine to ten inches na tart pans. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it, divide it, and kung makikita mo sa loob, you can still see chunks of butter. Okay? Magandang indication yan na magiging flaky talaga yung crust mo. Now, you just form it into a smooth ball like this. Pwede mong ikling wrap yan. Pwede mo na ding i-roll yan ngayon na kung kailangan mo na siyang gamitin. So, I have here two pieces of parchment paper. You can also use wax paper. Pwede ka din gumamit ng wax paper. I'm going to dust it with flour. Generously with flour. And then, lagay mo lang yung una mong crust dyan. So makikita mo, no? this is the perfect consistency. Hindi na siya nagbibitak-bitak. And at the same time, hindi din siya ganong kalagkit. No? Ang secret dyan is, you have to keep it cool. O ba? Diba? ang mga bagay, hindi sila naghihiwalay, hindi sila nasisira. Basta you keep it cool. Cool ka lang. Kailangan relax ka in every situation para hindi basta-basta uh, magkaroon ng diperensya yung ginagawa mo in all things. no? And now, you start rolling. Mapapansin mo, binilog ko muna yan. No? Finorm ko into a even round. And then, let's start rolling it. Be gentle. Maganda yung merong kang parchment paper na ganito. So, this will be your guide. O, oh, naiikot-ikot mong ganon nang hindi mo nasisira yung pastry dough. Ngayon, for beginners, kung medyo kinakabahan ka pa, pwede ka maglagay pa ng isang parchment dito sa ibabaw and then habang nagro-roll ka. The basic technique is when you are rolling your pastry dough, you have to always start from the center. Center up, go back to the center, down. Kailangan gitna ka palagi para siguradong pantay. And of course, you know, don't despair. Cool ka lang kung halimbawa sa unang beses mong ginawa ay medyo hindi successful. Talagang ganun ang mga bagay. You just keep on trying and ma-perfect mo din yan. Naku po, kung alam nyo lang, baka kung ilang kahon-kahon na butter na ang aking nagamit, bago ko na perfect ito. And then, baliktad mo to make sure na hindi dumidikit. O, ba? Diba? Madali if you are using a parchment paper or a wax paper. Sasabihin nyo, bakit naging square? Okay, may dahilan po dyan. So, kukunin ko na yung aking pie plate. If this is my pie plate, okay, the dough has to be slightly bigger than the pie plate. Kasi nga, syempre, ipre-press mo pa yung pababa. Okay? Ayan, makikita mo, no? Slightly bigger. Palalakihin ko pa ng konti ito. Eh, chef, paano ko po ililipat yan dyan? Yan na po yung medyo nakakakabang proseso. So, ganito, no? Lagyan mo ng flour yung iyong crust and pati yung ano nga ito? Rolling pin. Oh, nakakalimutan ko na kasi pinakabahan din ako. Paano pag napunit to, di ba? Pagtatawanan nyo ako. Iroroll mo, kaya kailangan madaming flour. Kasi napupunit lang naman yan pag nanikit. Oh, di ba? Tinanggal ko siya, pero nandito pa din sa edge. Yung pie plate mo, ilagay mo naman kung saan mo tinanggal yung dough para natatansya mo. O, oh, diba? O, oh, ayan, hinahangin. Ayan, bakit mo muna yan dyan. And then, ibalik mo lang siya paikot. O, oh, diba? O, oh, ganun kasimple. Guide mo nga tong parchment paper. Eh, syempre po, kung mga 10 years ka nang gumagawa ng egg pie, hindi mo na kailangan ng parchment. Eh, katulad ko, napapahinga po ako, no? Hindi naman po ako palaging gumagawa nito. So, gumagamit ako ng parchment. Ganun yon. So, kailangan gumamit tayo ng mga technique na makakatulong sa atin para maging consistent yung ating gawa. And then now, i-press mo. Kailangan po gentle ka. 
no gentle. Si wag mong ipilit. Wag mong ipilit ang mga bagay na hindi mo dapat ipilit. Katulad nito, <laughs> kusa pong bababayan. Because sakto naman talaga siya sa laki ng pie plate. Huwag kang manggigil. You have to be gentle. Hindi mo talaga siya pinepress down. Ina-align mo lang siya. You just align it. O, diba? That's a better term. You just align it. And nakita mo, no? Using the parchment, mas madali. Yan. Pag nakita mong naka-align na siya, properly aligned, get your rolling pin. Center. Up. Center, down. Okay? Now, you have a... You have line. Oh, hindi pantay. Walang problema doon. <laughs> hindi pa pantay. Oh, di sige. Ipantay mo ulit. Oh. Oh, diba? Tignan mo naman yan. Diba? Pang hotel. Ang social. Oh, diba? And you see the ingredients? Butter, flour, sugar, and water lang. Mura lang po yan. <laughs> Kahit na ang gamitin mo pong butter ay social, French butter, Danish butter, mamahaling butter. One cup na butter. Magkano ang one cup na butter? Sabihin mo ng 140 plus the flour. Wala pa pong 100 pesos ang magiging puhunan mo dito. Mga 80 pesos lang po. No? Eh syempre, kailangan yung expertise mo. Oh, so, gagawa pa ako ng isa. Gagawin ko pa to because of course, hindi lang dapat para sa sarili mo ang gagawin mo. Patikimin mo din ang mga kapitbahay mo. And syempre, bigyan mo din ang mga mahal mo sa buhay. So, I'm going to prepare one more. And then, I'm going to show you next how to do the filling. Dahil napaka-importante na pure and masarap ang filling. <laughs> So now, let's prepare the fillings. And I'm going to show you how to do two types, one savory and one sweet. Dahil dapat sweet na sweet ang fillings, o diba? So first, let's start with the savory. This one, we call it in France, o diba parang taga, parang namang taga France ako, kunwari lang. In France, we call this quiche or a savory tart, no? It's very, very delicious. Pwedeng pang breakfast, pwedeng pang merienda, midnight snack, at pinaka-importante, pwedeng-pwede mong ibenta. First, you start with two cups of cream. This is just heavy cream or you can use all-purpose cream. And you also need two cups of fresh milk. I'm using Jolly Cow. Nirecycle ko na lang po ito. Pareho naman silang dairy yan. O, two cups of fresh milk. And you need eggs. Nako, ilan ba ito? Papalagay ko na lang sa screen. Eggs. And this is cheese. This is just processed cheese. No, kahit anong cheese, lagay mo dyan. You need approximately two cups of cheese. So I have here processed cheese. And I'm also putting uh, parmesan cheese. Kung anong keso yung meron ka dyan. Kung meron ka pang keso di bolang hindi mo pa nagagamit buhat nung nakaraang Pasko, gamitin mo. And I'm going to put thyme. Ayaw mo ng thyme. Gusto mo rosemary, oregano, o yun ang ilagay mo. Salt. Just put some salt. And this is garlic granules. Ayaw mong lagyan ng garlic granules. Pwede namang wala. No problem. And of course, black pepper. Put lots of black pepper. And then you just beat it. So, ito yung pang savory. Gusto mo nga ang ilagay mo dyan, yung pang apple pie mo. Mag-chop ka lang ng apples. No, magandang gamitin na apples dito is Fuji or the green apples. But don't worry, pag nag-burn month, I'm going to teach you my special apple pie. Pero kung excited ka na, di mag-chop-chop ka ng apples, toss it in some sugar, that's French apple tart. Diba? Ang social, diba? Pag may nakalagay na French, o, oh, social. And this is the vegetables. Lagay natin yan mamaya. And herbs. Now, let's set, the, let's set that aside. And then here, on the other bowl, let's make the sweet. This is the custard. I have here egg yolks. And then, half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of cornstarch, two cups of cream. 
Okay, so now I'm ready to put this into my pastry crust. So now, I have here in this bowl, this is zucchini that I cut into cubes. This is mushrooms, sliced mushrooms, and these are cherry tomatoes. And meron din ako ditong spring onions, no? So, nasa sa'yo yan, kung anong gusto mong ilagay, you want to put a ham, bacon, gusto mong maglagay ng uh, eggplant, carrots, bell pepper, kung anong panlaman dyan ang makakapagpasaya sa'yo, yun ang ilagay mo, no? So, I'm going to just divide this Tatlo lang yung gagawin kong vegetable quiche. So, this is for the quiche. And then, yung isa is gagawin, ilalagay ko for the custard. May ginawa po ka kasi ako kanina. Ka Actually, kahapon pa po ako gumagawa <laughs> ng, ng mga pie crust, di ba? Kahapon pa. Kasi nagpa-practice ako. Whenever I have a, a recipe video, I always test the recipe at least three times. And pinapractice ko talaga yan to make sure na pag gagawin nyo na sa bahay is hindi na kayo basta-basta uh, papalpak. And then, ibubuhos mo lang yung savory feeling mo. This is the cheese with herbs. Haluin mo. Make sure na i-mix mo bago mo ibuhos. Ito pong quiche na to, itong ginagawa natin ngayon, ay nako, I promise you, lasang sosyal. <laughs> lasang sosyal po ito, pero ang kanyang price, o oh, akala mo lang, zucchini, di ba? Ang mura po kaya ng zucchini, especially kung o order ka dun sa, sa bagsakan, o sa mga hindi nakakaalam ng bagsakan, ano po yun. Yun ay makikita nyo online, on Facebook, on Instagram, yung mga gulay na nanggagaling sa Benguet na pinapagsak nila every week, napakamura po. Okay? Or you can go to your local grocery store. Isasalang ko to, sabay-sabay na, para isang bukas na lang po ng oven. And then here, I'm going to put the sweet filling, the custard. Oh, sakto po yan. Actually, ito is sakto din. Pang dalawa lang po talaga yan. Nagkataon lang, ang dami kong nilagay na mga feelings. Pinuno ko talaga ang feeling. So, naging tatlo. So, isasalang ko to in a preheated 425 degrees Fahrenheit oven. Mainit po talaga yung oven na pagsasalangan because you want the crust to be really crunchy and flaky. And yung Ibabaw nitong tarts natin is magba-brown, golden brown. So, isasalang ko siya. O oh, yan, kailangan, ay, careful, kasi mainit po. Napaka-init po nung oven. I've preheated it for 30 minutes para talagang pantay na pantay ang luto. O, oh, di ba, nakakakaba. Kasi, oh, gumagalaw-galaw po siya. <laughs> O, ba? Diba? O, baka kasi sabihin nyo, nako, pinasalang niya lang yan. Hindi. Ako po nagsasalang yan kasi talagang gusto kong made with love and baked with love. Tsaka ang ganda niya, o, ba? Diba? Very rustic. O, mukha talagang healthy for you. Dapat ganon. Pag pumili ka, yung mukhang healthy for you palagi para hindi ka iiyak sa dulo sa huli na ko ang init ayan ko ano kasi sinasabi ko o yan see you after 30 mga 30 to 35 minutes or until golden brown see you so after baking eto pinalamig ko muna sandali yan paano po namin tatanggalin yan from the pan ang dami no pies galore para kung para kung magtatayo ng RV spice or tarts pero di ba makikita mo mukhang social talaga this is the result medyo mainit pa siya this is the result of baking it at a high temperature ma-achieve mo yung mga ganyang 
yung alam mo yung social na sunog, yung ibabaw, may mga brown ano. So itong isa, ayan no, gantong kadali lang siyang tanggalin, i-slide mo lang diyan. Ipangririgalo ko po ito. Yan, is slide mo lang. Oh, di ba? Ganun lang kadali. Slide mo lang. And then I'm sure mabilis yan pagdating doon sa pagbibigyan ko dahil mainit-init pa. Oh, uh, yan. So that's how you 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 ano, you prepare it kung ipambibigay mo. Nako, paano ba 'yung sarato? Yan. Kung ipambibigay mo, oh, di ba? While it's still warm, no? Oh, lagay muna natin diyan. Tapos maghihintay siya. Tapusin muna natin ang video. And then this one, this is the custard tart. Tanggalin din natin. Very nice. See? If it's properly cooked, yung talagang nag nag uh, nag brown, naging malutong yung crust. Mabilis mong matatanggal yan. And then here, you have the option. Pwede mong lagyan yan ng strawberries. But me, I like it plain. What you can do is, ilagay mo na lang on the side. No? So, tikman natin. The quiche is actually very good with wine. Eh, syempre, savory muna tayo. Sa savory muna. So, you cut one slice first. See? And you try it. Mm. Sarap. Parang masarap may hot sauce. It's so good. Balance na balance. You know the texture of the vegetables? Ayun, umuusok-usok pa. The texture of the vegetables... The buttery crust and the very very smooth feeling. Mm. I'll get another plate for my custard tart. I re recycle ko na lang tungo chilio na to. This recipe is inspired by my favorite Portuguese uh, tart. Eh, para magandang picture an kung gusto mong maganda sa picture, ay eh, di lagi mo ng strawberries dyan. Pero ako, honestly, I, I like it plain. Alam mo yon Less is more. But if you want more, you can put more. <laughs> Pinagsasasabi ko. Ang importante, less is more or whatever, dapat mahal ka. Mahal ka dapat niya. Yun ang importante. And... dapat masarap ang tart mo. Mm. Ay, nako. Mamahalin ka niya. This is really so good. Mm. You see how flaky the crust? No? It's very flaky. It's really buttery. And I forgot to tell you earlier, masyado kong excited. <laughs> Be sure, when you're, when you're baking pies or tarts, choose a dark colored pan. Because the darker the color of your baking pan, the more it will absorb heat in the oven. So, mas magiging maganda yung browning ng crust mo. Okay? So, I hope you enjoy making tarts and, and pies and I look forward to sharing more recipes to all of you. Meanwhile, let's enjoy this because it's really, really good. So ano pa hinihintay mo? Mag-practice ka na, gumawa ka na, dahil mas lalo ka nilang mamahalin pag natikman nila, lalo na to because it's really, really super duper good. Take care, happy baking and I'll see you soon.